with tea quilts and I'm here to show you a new purchase that I got I have at least seven more t-shirt quilts that I need to make and the number keeps increasing as I keep doing t-shirt quilts so I thought that I would invest in a steam press <music> press off of Amazon and I will put the price that I paid on the screen but do note that prices do change you may get it cheaper you may have to pay a little more but I just wanted to show you the item that I got I don't have a review on this yet because I haven't used it so I just want to show you what came in the packaging first so it's a steam fast and what came with the package is a water reservoir and you will use it to put water in your steam fast if you want i also have a water bottle if you don't want to use steam you can just spray with water has an instruction manual that shows you how to use the equipment it has a pressing cloth and this is pretty small and at first i was wondering what was it for it's actually used to place over waistbands, buttons, zippers, etc. Things that you don't want to press because uh, they're not flat. So this helps in the pressing that you don't press in an additional crease. And then of course I've got the steam press itself. One thing I do like about it is that it has a lock feature. So when it's time to store it, you can just pick this up and go store it. It also... So here is your lock button, and then from there, you can lift this up. Now, if you have this down and you turn the machine on, it will not heat up as a safety precaution. So I do like that fact. You, you know it's on, uh, and it won't burn your ironing surface, which is in between these two plates here. Down here is a water reservoir that actually pulls out, has this little plastic button and then you just use the device here to pour your water into the water reservoir and then it pushes back in for safety i'm just going to go ahead and close this down and lock it so that it doesn't come back open while i'm demoing over here in the back is an on and off switch and then on the other side is an area where you can store the card underneath the device so I like that as well because your card isn't hanging out when it's stored it actually has a place for your card to be stored so you will need some additional things when you're using this press especially for me since I'm doing t-shirt quilts the first thing that you're going to need is some sort of pressing cloth that's larger than this padded one as i said this padded one is to cover particular items on clothing when you're pressing them i'm going to actually be covering my t-shirts and i don't want them to stick so i'm going to use a press mat for that i'm going to put my shirt face down and then put this on top of my actual shirt one other thing that the manufacturer recommends is that you use distilled water. So I just went to the my local grocer in the home cleaning section. You will find the distilled water. So I am going to go get a few t-shirts. I'm going to cut some interfacing and then I'll heat up the press and I'll be right back. So I just cut the unit on. It's not heated up yet. You have settings that you can set and I'm going to go ahead and select the cotton setting by pressing the arrow buttons and once it's heated this red light lets you know that it's on this green light will go out when it's hot and then this light here will come on when it's okay to use steam so it's got some safety features built into it it will not heat up when the plate is down it also will only let you steam something for up to 10 seconds before it automatically stops with the heat so you can't burn something completely if it's a, 
a light material and you've got it on one of the heavier settings of course it will scorch but it's got safety precautions built in so if you accidentally forget to leave the handle down you won't burn your house so i have decided since i'm working with t-shirts that i am going to use a cover on the bottom as well as i've got another cover to put on top just in case because sometimes my interfacing may be bigger than my t-shirt and i don't want it to go over so let's see we started at 11 15 when i pressed the cotton setting so it's only been one minute so we're going to see how long does this take to heat up while it's heating i'll just go ahead and prep my first shirt I actually want to put the majority of my shirt on the inside of the press so I'm only going to put on the press what I can press and it will take two pressings in order to do each shirt. So here is my interfacing here and I'm just going to line up with the bottom and then just let the excess hang off. Just wanna make sure what's under the press is nice and smooth. And again, you can see where my interfacing is not on my shirt here, and that's one of the reasons why I decided to use a second press pad, because I wanna make sure I'm not getting fusible on the actual ironing surface. So right now we've been going for two minutes. I'm thinking that this green light will probably go off at 10 minutes it has been five minutes and i noticed that the steam button has come on but our pressing indicator light the green light has not gone off so it's not heated to the cotton setting so i'm still waiting for it to get to the cotton setting so the light just cut off at 11:21, which means that it took somewhere between six and seven minutes for this unit to heat up so now we're ready to operate the unit I'm just going to slightly pull it down a little bit so you can see but you really can't see what I like about this unit with me being left-handed and I don't know what side I'm going to be standing on especially when I'm not recording it has two steam press buttons one on each side of the actual handle so to steam you actually don't close down all the way you hoover about three inches above you press the steam button for a couple of seconds and then you let it go and then you press down one two three four five six seven eight lift up and then I can now move my material down be careful with this because this is very hot and in a second i'm actually going to cut on my fan just because i'm working in an area that's hot again i'm going to make sure everything is nice and flat i'm going to close my top down about three inches before it touches press the steam for about two seconds stop it press down one two three four five and it's beeping so it's telling me that it's already ready so I can just go ahead and lift up. And I do like that safety feature. And now you can see why I put a mat underneath so that I would not get any fusible onto my actual ironing surface. So this shirt is pretty good. I'll go ahead and press some more. I didn't even have to use the cover on this interfacing because this is SF101. And it has a fabric base on top if I was using any of the knit interfacings then I would make sure to use a top cover so I'm going to this time use a top cover with this shirt and be careful that you don't get burnt this is very very hot if your shirt is wrinkly you can just go ahead and press down to actually iron your shirt if you like if you want to get it nice and flat put the excess in the back 
and center my interfacing on the shirt. Spread out nice and flat. And you do want to make sure that you're careful that you do not burn yourself. This time I'm going to put cover on top. I'm going to pull down, press for two seconds, then press down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. slide my entire piece down and again we want to make sure everything is nice and flat down about three inches from the surface one two press down one two three four five six seven eight lift up very nice now if i was with my iron this would take a lot longer to do and i am just really really happy with these results I hope I can get a lot of use out of this so I'm just going to do a couple more shirts and then we will end this video I just pressed four shirts for you you can see how all the way to the edges that there is no peel back so I really like that part and I'm looking forward to using this so if you are interested in a steam press I would suggest this this is not an affiliated video I will continue to use this I'm actually going to make a st. Louis Cardinals baseball team t-shirt quilt thank you for watching Bye-bye.